Hey guys, welcome back to the GitLab Crash Course. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps on how to integrate a virtual machine that is running on your virtual box and establish a connection from VS Code on your Windows desktop. So this is a complete hands-on demo where I will be using Ubuntu 20.04 desktop release and we'll also using a Visual Studio and IDE from the Microsoft. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Well, to start off this first thing we are going to need is install SSH server. So I just spin up a new VM to explain you the step from the scratch. So I don't have any packages installed at this moment. So we'll quickly run the apt update command to update the packages. So to establish a secure session from VS Code to Linux, we are going to run an SSH server on Linux side. So let's take a look how to do that. So we'll use OpenSSH package which is an open source tool used to secure a remote access to the servers and other network device over the unsecured network. So great, now you can see that the new SSH package is installed. You can check the service by running sysctl command. You can see that it is up and running and ready to go. So now that we are running the SSH servers on Ubuntu machine, let's capture the IP address of this machine. So I have multiple NICs configured here. So I'll pick the one we can talk from the Windows machine. Alright, let's switch over to the Windows machine now and open up the VS Code Editor. To connect to the remote server, we need to install a UI extension. For that, let's head over to the VS Code documentation. So if we navigate the remote server section, there are a good documentation that talk about how does it work. I'll also put the link in the description for you to go through. Well, in a nutshell, we have a local OS, which is a Windows in our case, that built an SSH tunnel to remote server where your source code would be running. And this is established through a UI extension. And if you scroll down a bit, it explains what are the different methods it can connect to. And we can use remote SSH extension, which is a lightweight package. Or we can go with the remote development extension pack, consist of multiple other extensions. And if you look at the remote extension page here, we can see that millions of install happened so far for this package. So if you search remote SSH under the extension on the VS Code window, we can find wide range of third-party extension and the kits available. For example, here we can see remote work extension pack, which have around 16 UI extension and comes with the GitHub repo, Docker extension and many other. So to install remote development kit, we can search for it. And this is from Microsoft. To make it simple, we are going to use remote-ssh extension for this demo. So let's go ahead and install this package on our VS Code Editor. After installing the extension, we can find the server icon on the left hand side below. If you click on it, it will open a window with a remote and there is a SSH underneath it. So click press button on the SSH tab to add new remote servers. So it will prompt you for the username and the remote server IP address. So once it is added on the right hand side below, we can get a host added message. So in case you want to modify, click on the open config and make the required changes on the config file. It usually stored slash use slash SSH directory in Windows. So after adding the new remote server, you will need to restart the VS Code to reflect the changes. So once it comes back up, you can see the new host added under the SSH tab. To connect to remote server, right click on the host and choose open new window option. It will prompt you for the operating system of the remote server which in our case is Linux, then enter the password you set on the Linux machine. If the authentication is successful, you will see a green icon on top of the remote server indicating that you have successfully connected to the server. Alright, now we are connected to the remote server and we can go ahead and access all its resources. So let's see how to do that. To open a directory in the remote server, click on the open folder and select the desired directory. Please note that each time when you switch the directories, you will need to enter the password again as a security measure and you will also need to test the author before accessing the remote directory. You can see the directory from your remote server. So let's create a folder for testing. I will create one folder over here and let's jump into the Ubuntu machine and see we are able to see the newly created directory on the remote servers. On the Ubuntu machine, we can see that the new folder has been created successfully. Finally, let's check the Python version we are running from the VS Code. I think we have a Python 3.10, which is the latest one. So it looked like our development environment is up and running with few clicks. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. 
I think this is an amazing feature where you can remotely connect many servers with a single console. Additionally, the VS Code can also integrate with the version control system like GitLab, which is a perfect use case for DevOps process and we'll cover this on the next video. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.